My vision, the future economy will be based upon regions rather than upon nations. You see overall throughout Europe that the nation states are losing influence and that the regions become more and more important. In particular, the transnational regions. So regions that are working together across countries and cross borders. And the new green economy is the green economy of the regions. They are more active than the nations. They are logically organized in terms of logistics and infrastructure and networks and, and knowledge constituencies. Uh, and of course there will be competition. There's always competition among regions. But there's always more collaboration between the regions. I see throughout Europe many more regions collaborating with each other than in the past. In particular, like I said, across borders and countries. Yeah, I think that the regions in Europe are well equipped to that major challenge of the transition to a green economy. In my own country, in the Netherlands, we have about six different regions with six different angles for serving the green economy. And also I visited some of the influential regions in Finland. And um, actually, I have much more faith in the regional approach addressing the new green economy than in the national or European approach. Although some of the things, because there are still major barriers for the green economy, you need to arrange at the European or global level in terms of, uh, uh, let's say, the laws and the rules. We need to break down many of the rules and laws that we have, uh, which are still favoring the old fossil economy. Well, you can imagine that in Europe, we all look at Finland because we still consider Finland as the champion of innovation. And we also consider Finland as the potential champion of the green innovation. Because look around, you have all the resources, you have the green resources, you have the infrastructure, you have the knowledge infrastructure, you have the innovation network, you have the regions, and you have a fairly consistent policy. So if there's one country potentially equipped for the green economy, it's Finland. And in the Netherlands, we have everything except for the green resources. We don't have that much forestry or agricultural resources, but we have the infrastructure and the knowledge infrastructure. But nevertheless, the, the hopes are high. But I'm also advising Finnish ministries, it also requires a certain strategy and policy. And in Finland, uh, the policies are usually aimed at incremental innovation, so doing things let's say slightly better and smarter but I'm talking about radical innovation so doing things entirely different but I have a hopeful message for the people in the room at your conference because the new economy is very decentralized in small networks and communities and the old economy was based on silos in Finland you also have those silos, the forestry silo, the agricultural silo, the chemistry silo and the fossil uh, energy silo. And what you see is that the new economy cuts across these silos. And who are able to tear down the silos? The entrepreneurs. Because uh, the new generation does not fit with this silo structure. <laughs> And, um, and that means that you as individual in your networks can make a difference much more than 20, 30, 50, 40 years ago. So a transition to a new green economy depends on individuals who can organize themselves very smartly in their communities and make a difference. So I wish that I was 20, 30 years old being an entrepreneur, fighting against the old silo-based economy and building up a new one. This is the most fascinating era uh, that, that I can imagine. So I wish all the participants good luck. It's a pity that I cannot be there myself, but I promise to come back here in Finland.